Investigators have just announced they've made an arrest in the investigation into a man accused of sexually assaulting and confining a 16-year-old girl in a Toronto apartment. Police allege that from January the 3rd to the 7th, 39-year-old Mohamed El Kurdi sexually assaulted the teen and held her in an apartment. El Kurdi has been wanted for sexual assault, forcible confinement, and assault. Investigators believe that there may be more victims, and they're urging people to come forward. With me now to discuss is Chris Lewis, CTV's public safety analyst. He's also the former OPP commissioner. Chris, good morning to you. So police just announcing this arrest as we're going to air. I'm wondering, though, what alarm bells went off for you when you heard this initial police report that this man was accused of confining girls, or at least one, in an apartment? Well, it was just horrifying. I mean, I, as the father of two uh, girls, two daughters, uh, ultimately it's the worst nightmare for a female victim or any victim for that matter, uh, imaginable to be held captive for five days. God knows, only knows what indignities uh, this poor victim went through. Uh, of course, you know, from an investigative perspective, I wonder right, right away, how did this happen? What was the relationship between the two, if any, was a stranger on stranger and on and on. But lots of that will inevitably come through, but just awful all around. Well, to that point, Chris, uh, they named the suspect, which I think had a lot of people wondering if perhaps the victim and the suspect knew each other. How could they know the identity of this man so early in their investigation? Well, I guess it might depend on whose apartment or it was it, what was the relationship there uh, in terms of the ownership of it. Um, and, you know, they ultimately they got the video feed quickly so that they were able to identify the individual. I'm sure he's already known to police. Uh, and of course, if in fact the victim did know him, uh, then it was pretty simple from there as far as identifying him. What would lead police to indicate that there could be more victims? Uh, yeah, that's it. I find that very interesting. I think it's, someone just doesn't do this normally as a first offense. Uh, there's been probably a lot of uh, different offenses, maybe increasing in severity uh, over time. And so ultimately, they're concerned that there may be more victims out there. And when you think about it, I mean, this is the worst thing any victim could ever go through. And how many victims don't want to tell the world that and they don't want it to be known. They don't want to have to testify in court. Uh, and of course, that just leads to more people being victimized because the uh, perpetrators aren't put behind bars. So thankfully, this one did come forward. And if there's any other victims out there, I hope they do go to police as well. Uh, so we can put this guy away for a long time to come. OK, again, this arrest just happening uh, a few minutes ago, according to Toronto Police, Chris Lewis. Thank you so much for your analysis.